Hey guys, how's it going? DOJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. It is a boom bow time, or as we have come to call it, the bumbo. So, it is time for the bumbo. I am going to get it right now. If you don't know how to get the boom bow, all you gotta do is you gotta complete all 14 of the 14 days of summer quests. The last one being get 10 survivors. Once you get those, actually today appeared a new quest, the, the Boombo quest, which showed us every single one that you had to do to be able to complete it, all 14 of them. Once you complete all 14, you are going to get it. And we are about to see it right now. Thank you very much to everyone who's hung out with me this morning. The hundreds of people who hung out with me this morning trying to get it. Thank you very much, uh, Chaos. Uh, Titan, Miss Mew Mew, everyone else who helped out. I really appreciate it for us to get it. I just completed my weekly. Wow, I just completed my weekly. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with Epic. I'm going to go with Epic. So, what are we going to do right now? We are going to look at the Boombo. Sorry, the Bumbo. Did we forget something? This is the 14th day, which is the 250. This is the 10 survivors that we have to get. And take a bow or take a bow. Take a bow, schematic, Cooper, Cooper, copper, boom bow, sniper rifle, explosive bow, fires an arrow that drops over time and explodes on impact. Range and velocity increase with charge time. Oh, range. And, oh, yes. So I have two major things that I want to find out about this. I want to find out if it's still going to have the tracking line, which would be great. And... Well, the other question was if it was going to be a sniper. It is a sniper. If it had been classified as an AR, much like the Tiger was, then we could have and I would have used my beautiful, wonderful 500. Well, it's, it would be higher then. But my uh, my crit setup, my crit setup for with first shot real, that's what I would have used. I think that would have been much more powerful and this would have been a great addition to that. But it is a sniper. So we're going to have to take a look at what it can do sniper wise and the base it's got affliction nice the base damages for this is it comes with damage rating physical crit and damage it's got a base of 20,000 a DPS of a, a starting DPS of a hundred really you got a starting DPS of a hundred that's pretty impressive range is 25 magazine size is one fire rate is 10 okay reload time is 1.3 that's not bad that's not bad for, for a base reload. Wait, can I upgrade it? I can change it without... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I can... <laughs> I can change the perks without even collecting it yet. That is so cool. All right, let's take a look at it. So, we can have headshot damage, critical rating, and impact. I'm not going to go headshot because I'm not a very good headshotter. Uh, it's got critical rating damage to miss monsters. Okay, we can make it a miss monster. Damage and crit damage. So, double crit rating here. You can make it anything you want. Ooh. I kind of want to go water. I kind of want to go water. I need more water weapons. And we can go damage to afflicted, damage crit rating, or damage to miss monsters crit rating. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, you can make this a quad crit rating weapon? You can make this a quad crit, crit rating weapon? You know what? I want to do it. <laughs> I want to do it just to see what a quad crit rating would give you a max crit. We're going to try. We're going to have to try one. Uh, <laughs> but you can have. It looks like you can have. Double crit damage with double crit rating. Yes. Okay. So crit rating, crit rating, crit damage, crit damage. You can't have triple crit rate, crit damage on it, can you? No, you can't. So you can't do triple crit rate, crit damage on it, but you can do quad crit rating. You can do quad crit rating. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen that in the weapon before, but there we go. Okay, let's get it. Let's go take a look at it and see exactly what we're going to level it up as well. Now, right now, this is going to be my very first look at the weapon. I'm probably going to go in, we'll test it out, we're going to take it to level 130, of course, but I'm more interested, remember guys, remember, I always say this, there's, there's two sides to this. The weapon by itself can be pretty great, but remember, if we get just the right hero loadout, the weapon can be much, much more powerful. So, 
Um, you know what? What I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna level this. We're gonna level this up, and we're gonna take it to we're gonna take it to Malachite. And the reason why I do that is because you never know what I'm going to take a weapon to. I don't know if I want to make it Obsidian or if I want to make it Shadow Shard. I know, I know. I have said in the past, if it's an event weapon, always make it Shadow Shard. But well. With the birthday event coming up soon, it's very possible that... Okay, well, this is actually... This is a pure event weapon. This is a pure event weapon, so we should make it Shadow Shard. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at the base damage here. So, let's leave it at level 30 for now. We're going to go try it out. Let's check out the perks here. We've got... Oh, man. Well. Let's take him up to rare before we do anything else. Okay, rare. Do I want to make it nature or water? We'll keep it physical. We'll keep it physical for now. Always shadow shard. Eh, sometimes, I mean. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so we've got uh, crit rate. We've got double damage, crit damage, and crit. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. It's got a 600 DPS? Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. All right. So, that is a very high damage per second. But think about it this way. Think about it this way. Are you really going to be firing it that fast? And you know what? It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't have it doesn't have reload or fire rate. Well, why would it need fire rate? So, as wonderful as that DPS is, that, oh my gosh, the headshot damage. That headshot, but it's an explosive weapon. That headshot damage. Yeah, I think it's bugged. Yeah, it's bugged. That is, that is, well, yeah, it's impossible. That's impossible because the reload's going to be 1.3. Even if you spam it, even if you spam it, there's no way it can get that much. I, no, I'm going to make a quad crit rating. I want I want to make a quad, quad crit rating, not because I want to see, because I want to see what quad, quad crit will get you. I will take this weapon to legendary. We're going to take it to legendary. We're going to take it to 130. This is just my first look at the weapon. And already I can see a lot of really messed up things here. This is impossible, guys. 600,000 DPS is impossible because we've got a headshot damage of 120, a base damage of 60. I think this is, has an extra zero. This has an extra zero, guys. Okay, this is, has an extra zero. So the problem is at the reload speed, you can't even reload it fast enough to shoot one per second. So it's impossible to get 600 DPS. It's very high, yes. It's, as someone said, I forget who said it. I forget who said it. Someone said that this would be wonderful to take it, to give it to defenders. I think it would be really good to give it to defenders because they they will shoot. They will fire it as soon as they get it. So I think that would really be really good. I also think this is going to be a very good beginner's weapon for people because they will have the tracking. So you are going to be able to track it quad crit rating i just want to do quad crit rating in legendary to see what it is here but i don't think this weapon is going to be all that in a bag of potato chips okay i don't think it's going to be all that in a bag of potato chips also i'm very curious if i want to take it oh that is a big jump in damage though oh that is a huge jump in damage it's a high fire rate anyway if I take it to obsidians because I'll just give it to my to my uh, defenders to use. I do. I I am gonna try the quad crit. All right. You know what? Let's let's just take it. In, let's take it in. Let's take it into a mission. Uh, let me go ahead and jump out of here. So, because uh, I'm gonna be just I'm just gonna be testing this out real quick. Oops. There we go. Um. Let's go into... We're going in... It's what? 80-something right now? Right? 
we have it at 82, I believe. Is that what it gets to? Where are you? There, it's 82. All right, so it's 82. So let's go into a, like a 70 something or an 80, 82 mission. Let's just go into an 82 mission. Um, is there anything that looks pretty good? All right, let's go into this deliver. Well, let's go into this deliver them all. Make it shadow fire rate doesn't affect the weapon. Yes, fire rate does not affect the weapon, but durability does. And if I want to give this to my defenders, I, here's the look on his face. Also, remember, guys, this is not the right hero loadout. Okay, this is not the hero right hero loadout. I'm gonna have to find a better hero loadout for it. Also, if I want to make this a crit weapon, then I definitely want to use a sniper that is going to increase my crit rating. Big thing, right? Big thing. Um, if you headshot a monster, you'll one-shot kill it in a low-level mission like that. Yes, but that means that I have to be good at headshots. But I have aim assist on this, don't I? We have the tracking. Oh, I will. I'm going to make it four crit ratings. I actually just want to see what four legendary crit ratings actually give us. Because as you all know, it's not true. Even though a single crit rating is supposed to give us 30-something percent, it doesn't mean that it does that every single time. It's just that percentage over the base. So it just boop, 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 slowly takes it out. Yes, we have laser tracking on it. Does Is it laser? Is it laser tracking? I don't know. Let's go. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So this, this again, guys, is just my let's first look at this weapon. It's just my first look at this weapon. I am not going to leave it here. I just, I'm very, I'm very wary of this weapon. It looks cool, though. All right, it looks cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that smoothness. All right. And then pull it back. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's fun. Oh, so it doesn't have... Oh, we don't have a... We do, we do. It's fun. It's so much fun. All right. Okay. All right. It's 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 so much fun, guys. This is Oh, oh, perfect. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Okay, damage. Not exorbitantly awesome. Okay, that's not bad at all. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. Also, check it out. If you just look, look, look at, look how, look how short the range is. Look at that. If I just tap it, look, 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 look. See, look, you have to, you have to hold it down. You have to aim it to get that the range all right okay okay all right so first impressions of the weapon it's super fun it's super fun actually i want to i do want to see the area of effect what's the area of effect okay so the area of effect is about it's a one tile it's a one tile area of effect why am I using a pistol loadout? Because I just want to try it. To, uh, I just want to see the weapon, uh, the, the base fun of the weapon. Okay. My first impressions of this weapon. It's very fun. It looks incredibly fun. Um, do I want to build this as a weapon that it... This is the next question I have to ask myself. 
do I want to build this weapon as a weapon that I'm going to be giving my defenders? If I give it to my defenders, then the smartest thing would be for me to take it to Obsidian. Okay, This is an event weapon though, so more than likely it will not be in the Birthday Llamas. It will only be here, and yes, it will be coming back, but probably not until next year. So I have to make a good choice here to keep the Boomba where it is. Now, let me say this. Let me say this, though. It's very possible that they are going to give us a free reset on this weapon. Why? Because this DPS is wrong. The DPS is wrong, guys. It is 100% wrong. This DPS... It cannot be 375 DPS if our reload time is 1.3 seconds. That's impossible. This is wrong. I'm horrible at headshots, but the aim assist helps me and get the headshots. That's another good thing. I am, yes, just for testing, if you want to call it for the memes, if you kind of want to call it for whatever, I am going to take this weapon to all legendary perks, and I do want to put quad. I want to put quad crit rating just to see what the crit chance is going to go to. I'm very curious about that. I'm not going to leave it that way. Do I want to leave it physical? This is the other question. Do If I want to use this weapon because of... It's not bad on its reload, to be honest. But if I want to use this weapon, I want it to do a massive amount of headshot damage to miss monsters. Specifically, Smashers. Smashers have a very little head, though, on a very big body. The problem with that is... Am I, I going to get it? Am I going to get the headshot? With the tracking, it, it will help a lot. But am I going to get the headshot every single time if I'm going to do it? So if I want to make it into a big, powerful weapon, am I going to get that? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Does fire rate really matter? It doesn't really matter that much because you've only got one magazine size. So it's all about the reload. Pretty good reload. We can't change the reload at all. So we have to decide purely if we're going to make this weapon... Well, I mean, honestly, I think there's only one way of doing it. I think there's only really one way of doing it. You have to make it double crit, double crit damage. You could make, you could give it double mist monster if you wanted, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. I think they're kind of just, I think they're kind of forcing us to make this into, I mean, you could make it quad damage, but that's only 80% base damage. You got to make it double crit Wow, that's kind of that's kind of stinky, actually. I gotta I gotta tell you I gotta tell you, that is kind of depressing, I, and and I, I feel that's a little bit eh. You're stuck on making this a double crit rating, double crit damage weapon. They're the, because you can't affect the reload time at all. If you could affect the reload time, then yeah, I wouldn't mind making this double miss monster weapon. Double Mist Monster, double damage? That's getting us pretty high in, in Mist Monster damage, but that's still only going to give me a 75. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see that being all that beautifully wonderful. So, I have a decision to make. Am I going to make this an Obsidian weapon to give it to my defenders, or am I going to make it a Shadow Shard weapon to make it to give it for myself and also just how much damage can i squeeze out against a level 170 something smasher i think it's 172 that's the highest we can do now um so yeah i'm gonna have to go into a high level mission i'm gonna have to try it out after i level it up and after i decide whether i want to make it obsidian or shadow shard i'm gonna have to make that decision then i'm gonna have to decide if i want to keep it physical or if i want to make this a fun weapon for myself Quad quit rating with a nature will look pretty cool. I think it'll look pretty cool. <laughs> and then the next part of it is I need to figure out what hero loadout I want to use. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to spend today. I'm going to spend today figuring out what hero loadout I want to use. I don't believe there's only a single hero loadout that I possibly can use. People in the chat were saying use Chromium Ramirez. Yes, if I want to use Chromium Ramirez. In case you don't know what Chromium Ramirez does, let me go show you really quick. Chromium Ramirez, who is a springtime here. No, not a springtime here. Fortnimers? What is she again? I'm so lost. Blockbuster. There you go. So Chromium Ramirez, what does she do? Chromium Ramirez has, as a commander perk, in a pinch, reloads with an empty magazine are 50% faster and regenerate 13.5 to the shield over 3 seconds. What does that mean? It means it's going to give me a 50% 
faster fire rate. But as you guys saw, it's not about that. I can't just spam, I can't just spam fire because bloop, the arrow is just gonna land there. I still need enough time to aim. And honestly, as you guys saw what I was doing there, the aim was fine. The aim was perfectly fine as it was doing it. I really don't think I would go with her. What do I go with? I would go more if I'm going to make it a crit rating and crit damage weapon. We're going to go crit. But we also got to take a look at all the snipers. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take a look at my sniper heroes. I'm going to take a look because as I said, unfortunately, I really think that they are forcing us to make this a crit weapon. It, it, it doesn't really, you don't really have any other choice in this one. Um, I, I don't know why they would do that. But we are kind of forced to go. You're going to see a lot of double crit rating, double crit damage. Boombos. I, I, I don't see I don't see anyone else doing anything different unless they want to do it quad damage, which will give you an 100% or so, wouldn't it? Oh, it's more than that. A quad damage would actually not be bad. You could go quad damage. You could go double damage, double damage to miss monsters and bosses to get yourself that base damage. But of course, if you're going to have double crit rating and double crit uh, crit damage, you're going to get way more damage. Of course, if you're just looking for damage, that's going to be the best way. I don't really see the point in doing it quad damage or double damage and double miss monsters. For the memes, I will make it quad crit rating just to see what it does. And I, I want to see how it... I want to see what that crit rating actually goes up to. But apart from that, I think you're stuck. I think you're stuck doing it double crit rating, double crit ra damage. That's a little disappointing. And the next thing, you, the only other thing that's going to affect this weapon is going to be your hero loadout. So time to take a look at the hero loadouts. Time to say goodbye to this crazy loadout here for my uh, Plasmatron 9000. It's time to get to work, guys. All right, so there we go. That's my first my first views, my first impressions on the weapon. Do I think it's the end-all to end-all? No, I don't think that. I think that the greatest weapon in the game, prove me wrong, is my Zap Zap. I love the Zap Zap. It's the greatest weapon. You want to ask me what the greater weapon is? Right there. It's the Zap Zap. Period. Done. End the sentence. Finish the book. Print it. Is this weapon good? We'll have to see. We'll have to see because people might be like, this is the greatest weapon ever. But two weeks from now, is everyone still going to be using it? That's the question. What are the weapons that you use in your setup all the time? For me, I always have the Zap Zap and I always have my Candy Corn LMG. So you got to ask yourself, what is your weapon that you're always going to put in there? Are you going to go into every mission and be like, you know what? I got to have my Boombo. I got to have my Boombo because it is awesome. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to keep working. I will release a video later today where I will be working both on the hero loadout. I'll show you what I ended up uh, deciding on and I'll definitely show you guys the perks and we will test it out again. We will test it out with the double crit rating, double crit damage. I'm leaning towards making a shadow shard for the extra damage. But then again, I don't know if this is a weapon that's going to be in my setup all the time. And if it's not going to be in my setup all the time, then definitely I'm going to make it and give it to my defenders. If I do that, then why not make it obsidian? Although that jump in damage was that that is a this is a considerable jump in damage, guys. That is a considerable jump in damage. Goodness gracious, look at that. That is a huge jump in damage. I don't know. I have to make some tough decisions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. Keep an eye out for a video later tonight. For those of you who are watching the stream, don't worry, I'm not ending my stream. I'm just ending this video. We're gonna keep working a little bit. We're gonna keep working on this weapon. We're gonna talk and take a look at the hero loadouts and everything, test it out a few more times. I know there's several people who are gonna want to give me a shadow shard weapon. If you want to, that'd be great. I can test it out and see if I want to go there. Also, if anyone out there has an obsidian weapon, if anyone had made this obsidian, let me know. I'd be very interested in testing and comparing side by side the obsidian with the shadow shard before deciding to go over it. It'd be awesome. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. See you guys in the next one. See ya.